All right, boys and girls. It has been a very, very, very long time. And today I'm going to try something else, something else out, you know, something different. Because last time we tried uh, Attila, I mean, uh, Total War, Emperor Edition. But I want to switch it up a little bit. It's been a while. It's been like almost two, two three years. I've, I've gone through a name change, and I'm going to try to get serious with this thing. So you will, guys will see a lot more videos and YouTube commentaries or whatever gameplays, whatever I decide to do or whatever you guys want me to do. So from now on, we're going to see a lot more uploads. So this is just the part one of Donna Man. So what I'm thinking for this is to change it up a little bit and see if we can play something different. So this is a strategy game still, but it's a little bit more of a realistic, like, beginning of man, dawn type thing. So what we're going to do now is very... S we're going to try the new game. So I already played the Continental Dawn, as you can see. So there's, like, different challenges you can do. And there's Nortlands, Ancient Warriors, which just says difficult, challenging, accessible, which I mean, it, what I'm taking as is easy, medium, or hard. There's also like challenges you can do in community. I mean, if you play this game, you know what I'm talking about. And there's also like milestones you can do. Like the one I haven't gotten was produce 20 units of steel for my content on Dawn, which I'm still working on. But we're going to focus on the Northlands. So what I'm thinking for the Northlands is uh, we're going to change the name. I'm going to imagine we're in a European landscape just because it seems very European. Like the trees, the grass, those kind of things. It doesn't seem like Africa or like Mesopotamia or even Eastern Asia. It could be could be like the Caucasus and stuff, but um, I think we're going to focus on Europe as the setting for this game and where we are and stuff. Uh, so, I don't know, we'll keep this name. It's kind of like Scandinavian, Nordic, maybe Germanic. So, Rudig de Gore or something like that. Uh, so I'm thinking lake, what do we got? We got lake, north river, mountain, or frozen valley. Hmm. Let's do the, the valley seems kind of boring. Twin lakes, north river. Uh, let's do this, north river. So game one normal, we'll keep that in. Saddle, nomad. Hmm, let's keep the saddle just to give stuff. Oh, actually, let's do nomad. Let's have some fun. Okay, so part one, we're going to do a northland. So basically... The what I know is this is going to be a colder region of the maps that you can do in the game, like campaigns or whatever they offer you. So we are going to do this, and we're going to have some fun. And basically the part one is going to be kind of like the first uh, first eras, like Neolithic, Paleolithic. I don't think I'm going to get past that. I only, I'm trying to keep this to like 30 minutes. So we're going to do like 30 minutes per each part so I don't bore you to death. And it doesn't take forever to upload because everyone knows that a lot of... These 30 minute up videos take forever to upload. So, this way I can make more videos and then you guys can see more content and we can talk about more things. And make sure you subscribe, like, comment, everything. And uh, yeah. But uh, the changes are that I changed my YouTube channel. So, I went from uh, Rakita to Denny Denny, as you can see. And I'll be posting more U uh, gameplay stuff for, from this game to Rainbow, Six Siege, a whole bunch of stuff. So, yeah. Uh, so, let's see what we got. Okay, little river, little river, I like it. So what we're gonna do is, so first thing we do is set up uh, star, par places where they can do stuff. So gather sticks so we can do stuff like weapons, buildings. Obtain blith, flint so we can create weapons and buildings as well. Got one here, I guess, and then we'll put a, another one here. So this. Um, what else do we have? Hunt, hunt, hunt. Uh, we'll put one right here, and we'll put another one right here. Hopefully that will overwhelm them. And then I always put two fishing ones, because fish can be a little bit of a problem, if I'm being honest with you. Maybe one. Oh, right there, right here. So another fishing. That's one covers those two. One right here that covers these three. Okay, harvest, harvesting, harvesting. Anything interesting? Okay, some stuff here. Rocks, where are my rocks at? Perfect. Alright, perfect. We can start building. Six people, we need to build some houses. Let's start working towards that. Try to make them a little bit like right here. Okay, is this live? Oh, I need to add that. Okay, we already have that. I need to add that. that right now. Speed, there we go. Speed, and then uh, defense. I think that's the thing I need to add. Yeah. That's, that's all I want to add right now. Okay. 
Let's increase the speed four times. So they're, they're gonna build this house. Let's grab another one for them. Perfect. Yep, two houses. Okay. Production. Like a perk. We're gonna have fire and heat. We are in the beginning of the world era or civilization as we know it. To be more exact. So, trees are taken down, but that's because we have axes and stuff there. Okay. So cool, let's, uh, let's see what we're building. So we're building that, we, the skin dryer would be effective too. Yeah, put, like, right here, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. And then, uh, let's speed this up. Not take forever. Okay, so, we are in, where's the era of that? Paleolithic. Jesus. So, this is a while back. Copper Age, that's like Egyptians leading, I mean, around the era of the Egyptians and the Greeks. Same thing here. Copper Age to Bronze Age. Then the Iron Age. Um, Neolithic, I don't know the eras exactly. I should have maybe wrote this down. I don't know. I don't want to be, I don't want to be, I don't want to misspeak, misspoke, whatever. So let's, um, let's work towards building this. So, the cool thing about this game is like it has all these animals which are actually animals that existed at one point at one time maybe not exactly how they looked because we don't probably have enough evidence from fossils and etc of how their fur and the type of fur and how they look like the things that basically disappears like the fur and the, and the cartilage and stuff so we don't might not know to infer how they actually look but it is quite interesting to see uh, that they went through the actual fossils or the information that you can find and made these animals like this looks like an early ancestor of the rhino uh you'll see the mammoth early ancestor of the, the elephant of course um got some like ra old reindeers yeah they've been around for a long time oryx which is like the early ancestor for cows you know before they were domesticated or bulls etc so it's very interesting to see these things. We are taking a sweet time building this. So this house supports three, yeah, three, okay. So we need a couple of these. Oh, I need those storage socks. Oh, I forgot. Where's this? Okay, there we go. Let's build that behind the house. Put the pole. I can't put it there. I think the access to something to mess up the placement is the most annoying in this game. Okay, all right, cool. So we're gonna build these storage units. Uh, we're gonna get these hunting going on. This game isn't as exciting as other strategy games. It's more about city building. So it's a little bit more, less action as I like. I like more like Attila or uh, Empire <laughs> or Rome 2 or, you know, Age of Empires, etc. Those are kind of games where you can build and attack. And I guess those kind of strategy games, like Command and Conquer, etc. And uh, there's a, there's a sh crap ton. From, from the early 2000s up to the 2010s, but recently there hasn't been that much. Maybe the active aggression too, but it wasn't that it wasn't as exciting as the other games. Um. Okay, they're working on it. Oh, I know what I need. I totally didn't even think about that. I need a storage net. So let's let's put one. What am, what am I gonna do with all these trees? I can't cut these down right now, can I? Okay, so let's. Put one right here because I like to make two of these so we can separate the. See, I can't build it because there's trees in the way. When, when can I start developing an axe, flint axe, composite tools? Oh, we can start doing that. Oh, well, that's right here. Okay, cool. So let's start making some bone tools. I'm gonna. What's better? Bone knife or. We can't make that yet. We can make these. Wait, this is, oh yeah, this is better. The bone harpoon is better than the... Oh, yeah. Okay, I see what I'm doing here. Let's try to focus <laughs> on making more bone tools, but we'll work on whatever we can. Uh, so we got a skin dryer, that's done. This needs to be done. This needs to be done. No storage slots. I know, okay. Just give me a break. So workload's really high. I mean, there's like six people. Looks like... It looks like this this game mode will have a limitation on flint and early like um, weapon building material. 
Thankfully, there's uh, these flint mines. But in like the other game mode, there's a lot more flint in one area, and in here there isn't. So there's like one flint per area. Usually there's like two or three, you can maybe up to four, depending. I can't mangle it. Could have made my house over here more room. That's fine. These trees will come in handy later on. Yeah, that thing's big. Look at that thing. Can I can do this, right? Look at that thing. Wow. Hopefully the graphics gets better over time. You know, I'm running Ultra right now on a, on, a, on a really old GPU. So I feel like set up this graphics will look even better. <laughs> With ray tracing and everything, even though ray tracing isn't probably supported, but you know what I mean. Lighting effects will be better. So I don't want to turn on just the bone spear things because I know that there's not enough bones because they need to hunt animals to get the bones. And my bone is one compared to my sticks, which is also one. Jeez. <laughs> I'm struggling overall. So I have enough food for my guys, which is important. Uh, can I? Okay, cool. Okay, we're going to do dogs. Dogs are important. Bring protection, and then I think, I don't know if this is the one that unlocks hunting. Where is this? Dog domestication, and then dog training. Okay, so this is the one for hunting, the second one that you research. The first one is just for protection, which is important because if an animal starts attacking, we don't have many weapons, so it'd be good to have dogs uh, work towards saving our butts. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah. Going good so far. Going good. Who knows? Uh, my goal in this video is to get to the Mesolithic. I don't know if I will. This might be like a five part, ten part series. Who knows how long this will take. So, let's see. Got the houses. Uh, there's no room to build. I mean, no room to expand. That's why it's important. I gotta make another house. Okay, well, what is still down? Wolf attack? Yeah, they're fine. No one died. We just got some more meat and hide. Alright, this needs to be done so we have storage. Um, okay, okay, okay. More knowledge is needed. There's a way for I can increase bear attack, jeez. Oh. Oh, we didn't kill the bear, but... Alright, at least she ran away. Smart, smart. Uh, workload is still high, which is not good because the higher the workload right now, it's going to be harder to pass, the longer it takes to do tasks. Which is why it's important to build another house so I can get more uh, immigrants coming into my settlement so I can expand that workload across nine people instead of six. Um, but he did fix the work the work uh, dynamic in this game. Before it was atrocious. You couldn't even do anything. It was horrible. You know, I, I love these like primal games like when you like nomads or that... Uh, that chimpanzee game excites me, I forgot the name what it is, but it really excites me, I want to kind of play that too, maybe once I get my RTX up and running, I'll try that out at one point, but this, I love this primal stuff, like when Far Cry Primal came out, a lot of people weren't excited for it, as much as I think I was, because I was like, wow, this is something new, this is something different, you know, and it was really fun to play, so when I think of Far Cry Primal, I think about this, like, it's probably not the same era, because I'm, I'm, again, I don't have the errors written down, and I'm not a, I'm not a, uh, Archaeologists, like I don't know them like back of my hand, but I just know that the Far Cry Prime and the Paleolithic Age is not that far apart from each other. Ten thousand years ago or something like that. So yeah, it's very interesting to see this game. This game is more fun because you can control people at this time era and see what it's like. And I imagine the game the developers went through a lot of work to research and make sure that this is as accurate as possible. Because a lot of people want to strive for accuracy in, in this era of uh, false news and etc. So it's nice to see this. Uh, let's look at the map for a second. So it's just a hilly map. A lot of hills. I don't like these hills as much as I like the flatter terrain. You can build more. But it's challenging, which would bring a new aspect to it. There's a lake over here. Oh, there we go. We got a mammoth. It's an adult male. The mammoths and most of these animals that you hunt in this era are really dangerous. Like, it's the easiest way to lose your people if you hunt, like, all these animals. I think the easiest animals to hunt are, like, the reindeer and maybe the oryx, but it's not the male. Oh, look at this. It's a little wolf. Let's capture it. No storage slots left. Is this thing done yet? What do you guys need? Two dry skins. Alright, let's increase this. Come on. Ah, oh, I hate having little people. I have little amount of people. 
So we have knives, we have spears, we have about a lot of things. This needs to hurry up too. Oof. He's gonna get time 16. <laughs> but the workload's down, which is good, because it'll get things done a lot quicker. Now, if I look at my people, what do I have here? I have six population, I have six housing, okay? No male children, one female children. Two male adults, one female adult. Dang, I don't really have a um, diverse amount of people. Basically, one family <laughs> living in. Alright. I've got a cave hyena, I've got another knowledge. I wouldn't recommend these people inbred too quickly. Interbreeding would not be effective at this era. But, um, yeah, that's why we need more people coming in. And I need to build more of these shelters. And this guy needs to go kill some animals so we have more. Let me go kill some animals. Let me get on this primal leader. What do we have here? What do we have here? I don't want to kill a thing. Okay, there we go. Kill all of these guys. Come on. Alright, time's eight. Cool. Hopefully this will get done faster because we need... Okay, there's a skin dragon. Cool. We have two raw skins, so we need four. Yeah, we need four. This will be done a lot faster. I'm gonna make something so we can increase these. Yeah. I like to put these in places where they're a little bit more like away. But in the early areas, I like to put it like the next to the base. It's easier for uh, them to come and pray and release their stress that they have or whatever the feeling is. I think it's. What is it? Oh, she just spit on me. Okay. I think the kid died. What just happened? Uh, what is it? Down. So, nutrition, hydration, temperature, stamina, rest, morale, that's it. So, they can come here and like pray and rest and increase their morale, etc. But yeah, you need to include that with your house if you're starting this good line attack. Ooh. That's interesting. Oh, we just killed a dog. Cool. And the kid's about to die too. Oh my goodness. And the kid's dead. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I just oh jeez. It's attacking the dog too. It's attacking the dog. Oh my goodness. Yo, yo, yo. Oh bruh, we just oh my god. Yo, they gotta kill this lion. It just killed two of our dogs and a cut a child. We're down to five population. Oh, at least we have room to expand. But still that's depressing. Alright, I'm gonna kiss the game speed. Bruh, this is this cave line? So we're definitely not in like the prehistoric realm where there's like saber tooth, saber tooths at least I think. I hope not. I don't know my paleontology. I really don't. Someone's gotta kill this guy, right? Come on. We just killed like two of our dogs in our family. Oh my god. Do we need meat? No, we don't. Okay, that was horrible for me to say. No. Okay, so we have a dog. What is this? He's just standing next to his prey. The sadistic cave lion just killed. Oh my goodness, okay. Yo, are they gonna come and kill this guy? I really don't wanna keep following him. Look at him, he's living his life peacefully. Drinking out of the river after killing our kid. Killing our two dogs. Is he eating the dog? Oh my god, he's not eating the dog. Is he? No, the dog's disappeared. Oh, you're just gonna walk right by him. Okay, cool. Wow, low stats. Okay, so I think I think this is already a part of this gameplay. <laughs> and it might not be worth saving at this point. Ah, jeez. Workload's so high. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, new suit, new, new, new human. New human, new human. Cool, awesome. Kill the lion. Nope, you're not gonna kill him. Is anybody gonna step up to the plate and kill the lion? Anybody? You? No. Nope. You? No. Nope. Okay, cool. Nobody. Okay. Let's just forget about we just lost a kid and two dogs to this thing. But it's alright. Um. Come on. He's right there. Look at him. He's right there. Go kill. Come on. Nope. Okay. Alright. Uh, we don't have five yet. At this rate, I'm definitely not gonna get through the Paleolithic age, let alone the Mesolithic age in one video. 
This gameplay is so slow right now. But we're getting there, we're getting there. This is important, this is important. I'm not gonna have any more messages popping up. Okay, knowledge, cool. What's the next knowledge? This would increase hunting, maybe? Yeah. Let's do this. Actually, no, this might be better because we can start developing more common because Flint is very compared to the rest of this stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start developing all three of these. I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna get rid of this so we can start developing these things. We have no picks, okay. Well, we'll get there, we'll get there. We can finish this house. This is important. We have fish in here. Cool. Finish this. We need to expand our population. I think that's the mistake I made from the beginning by not having enough houses. If I have more people, more houses, more workload to be, etc. You know what I mean. All right. Next knowledge we'll do is like the sling making, so we can actually no, that'll be more work. We'll do the dog training to increase the hunting productivity, so we can get more skins and stuff. I'm going to build one more. Actual, I'm gonna build no, no house. Uh, I want to get more work. Um, can I put that there? Okay. Right. There. Cool. This shouldn't be. Yeah, four sticks. Easy. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Okay, so now they have picks so they can go mine this. But they also have axes. That means they can harvest trees. Ooh. I don't know if I want to do this right now because I really don't need wood that much. And their workload is already 217%. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Cool, cool, cool. All right, another house is needed now. Um, these houses are looking so ugly. <laughs> you know, this, uh, right here, right here. Yeah, this works. This works. Yeah, that works. Actually, yeah, that works. That works. That's fine. I'm okay with that. This hurt is still not done. Jesus. Okay, because they need rocks. Okay, I see. And there's just all oh, the pending text must Old be insane. Time. Ah, I see. Okay. 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 We lost another population. <laughs> I really need some nomads to start coming in here. Come on. It's a lake here. Ooh, there's so many animals near lakes. I've noticed that there's a lot. I mean, it makes sense. Lakes, more diversity, water. Cool, we can make dogs with hunting, increase productivity. Uh, the reindeer looks cool, man. That's like one animal I want to see in real life is a reindeer. Or a caribou, at least. Give me a caribou. Such a cool, such a cool animal, such a cool animal. The antlers look, just look so much cooler than the rest of the antlers on any other animal. It's, that's in the same family. Cool. Whether it be deer or longhorn, or, or what do they call it? Uh, prong, pronghorn, I think. Caribou. Apex. Apex. Etc. Jeez, 380 percent. Oh my goodness! I think I destroyed these people. They're so overwhelmed with work. I don't think they're gonna ever get to any of these tasks done. And this is the more challenging, like scenario so I imagine that's why they're struggling. Hmm. Okay, well they're getting some things done. We got this done. <laughs> some thirteen warrior stuff, you know, there's like cannibals that they found in the forest or in the cave system over there. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Is there a bear attack? What is happening? Oh, yeah. yeah, how does it feel now? How does it feel now? Exactly. Stay away from us. Alright, let's get some. Okay, I have 360% on workload, but these five... Oh, that's why. These, like, four people are just super tired and five super tired. Can the dogs start doing some work? Like, they're freeloading a little bit. No, I'm just kidding. The dogs are cool. They're protecting us. Okay. Once they get this like initial work done, it's gonna be a lot easier on them. And 
we're gonna be somewhere. I just feel like the workload gets so high so quickly. I think that's what the problem is when you start as Nomad, because you have to build like this, and you have to build a hurt, and then it's just extra stuff, you know? So I feel like I should have started off as just regular, and then I would have gone by faster. <laughs> so yeah, we'll just keep going at this. It's not that big of a deal. Maybe another 10 minutes of this. I don't want to prolong this video too long. Just make it as a part one, and we'll just keep going at it. Keep chipping at it, you know, see where we can go. I think I can get through most of the Pale Neolithic, if not everything, in 10 minutes. I'm not going to rush this. I want to enjoy this and make this a somewhat longer um, video than the other ones I'm going to make one day. I should have a uh, Rainbow Six Siege video coming out soon of like the best moments slash fails of my my uh, Xbox gameplay for the last couple of years that I've just been kind of saving. You know, I haven't really been serious about it, so I've got a few videos that I've got like saved away so you guys can see it. For any of you Rainbow Six Siege fans, I love that game. Play it on Xbox all the time. I'm gonna get it for PC soon so I can play it here too. All right, okay, we're reducing it. It's 260%, but we're doo doo seeing it. I think the only thing we're missing is finishing this up, the house, and getting more people to our settlement, which is vital. Like, we can fit four more right now, and there's no one coming. It might be, it might, might be one of the reasons why we're struggling. Having ten people would be very, very nice right now. Nine people. A herd caribou. Trader has arrived. That's the first. Right. I'm not gonna buy anything from you. I don't think I have anything to pr even provide. We have enough flint. We, uh, we can get fish, dry skin. It's a problem, but it's fine. I'm not gonna. Yeah. So much extra. Down 20%. There we go. Okay. Dry no skin. And the crafter is making. Put the down now. Crafter is making these tools and stuff, so we should be fine. We've got six of these bifaces, two flint axes, two flint picks, two bone harpoons. Oh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta limit things. Totally forgot about that. So I like to have 125% uh, of this. Just in case you know, when people join, they're not gonna have any clothing because it's fit for the 100% of the population. So increase the fish to 20. Increase, yeah, this is fine. We'll put this for the future so we can have this done. That's fine. It was like 50. Always nice to have more food. Sticks with 20. This 20. This 20. This 20. This 20. This 20. 20. 20. 20. Yeah, this one. Unlimited. I'm not completing this yet. So spears 125%. Knife 125%. This is fine. This is fine. Uh, fishing like 75. Yeah, that's that's yeah 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 yeah. That's all good though. Whoa, this one. And like I'm like making a London, the city of London, over and over again. I feel like I'm gonna have a whole bunch of old people and they're all gonna die. This is the one time I'm gonna, yeah, I have three old people. And two, oh jeez. My, my, most of my population is elderly. I'm going to lose the majority of my people and I'm not gonna have anybody to finish this scenario out because I'm special. I couldn't do that properly. Crap. <laughs> Come on, join. I've got two houses for free. Free real estate. 
I know one person's got to share a house with these old people, but it's, what's wrong with that? Come on, free housing. It's it's a time of, of cave lions and and mammoths and frigid cold. Why would you want to be outside? Free real estate. I'm offering it to anybody. Come on. So yeah, this game is this game's kind of fun. They updated recently for a farming update or something, and they added like uh, uh, plows, which is like increases the productivity of sowing or like, planting the seed. So interesting. They're they're working on it. I'll give them that, and I appreciate the game a lot. It's it's like banished, but it's better, in my opinion, just because. They have the developer working in the background and helping and improving on the game with free updates and DLC to in, in for their users to enjoy more. So it's not like Banished. Banished is really ultimately dependent on the community workshop, which is something I wish this game had a little bit more of, which isn't just maps because that's the developers really limit the the the, the modded side of this game. They only really let the uh, maps be modded, nothing really else. But that's understandable. They're working on a game they want in their own image. They don't want to be ruining it right away. So once it gets out of alpha, beta, beta, and it's fully released, and they're not going to update it anymore, I imagine community workshop support is going to be a lot more uh, prevalent and higher. So people can actually like do something. Hey, there we go. New human. Where's our Where's our population demographics at now? Okay, it's a female child. Wait, no, no, they just had a female. No, wait, what? Three. Six, okay. Yeah, I can't do that. It was a child. A child joined us. Wow. That's, that's weird. Okay, this game has a weird um, immigration pro process. A child can join us. So yeah, I'm getting close to the cutoff time for this. So this might be soon to the wrap up of part one. I don't want to go too long into this. I might do more future versions where we edit it and just show the highlights, but it's all up to you guys. You tell me what you want. If you want, you want an edited, highlighted version of this game because this game can be slow at times. I'll do that. And you just want to see like when we research things and stuff happens and we're building stuff, we can do that. Or we can just keep it as one long thing, and that's I'm okay with that too. You know, it's easier for me, but it's also more interesting. Maybe you want to hear me blabber on for a 40 minutes long episode because that's where we're at right now. I think 40 minutes. So, yeah, it's up to you guys. You guys tell me what you want and see. This is just part one. You know, I'll be uploading other games. And I was thinking of doing Attila, but Attila got uh, too, um, my graphics card can't handle it, basically what I'm saying. So uh, my new graphics card that's coming in, the RTX 2070 Super, will replace this GTX 970 I have. And we'll see where we go from there. It should be able to support me a lot more and... I can do more games and stuff, you know. I can I can do maybe Warzone clips. I can do Rainbow Six Siege clips. I can do this more. I can do Attila more. I can do a whole bunch of stuff. So you'll see a bigger improvement in quality in the next week or two once that's installed and done. So yeah, but yeah, I'll be uploading like three times a week. Let's see, for sure one today, uh, maybe two even today. But we'll find out and see. I'm excited. I'm excited. I just need you guys to. Tell me what you think, what you want, what you like, what you found boring, what you like. Just give me the criticism, man. Give me the whole nine yards. Let's have some fun with it. I can research real quick. Let's do that. Uh, spirituality? No. I, I don't want to make slings. Let's do this. Let's make food dry. Increase food, uh, food long longevity. Let's, uh, I should put this stuff like back here. Yeah, put one right there. That's fine. Okay. Put one right there. Uh, but yeah. Feedback. Send it, boys, girls, whatever. Just send it. Comment it. DM me. There's, I think this might be some socials link. I'm not sure. Twitch. I've got a Twitch account. If you want to come and like, just like it and follow me. So we'll, we'll do like Battle for One, Warzone, etc. You know, I'm gonna do some Battle for One today. So once this is uploaded, you can go watch me do some Battle for One. I'll be streaming. And yeah, if not, then just follow me, and then you'll know when I like. Or like me, and you know when I uh, start streaming, you come watch me. Me and my best friend are gonna be playing some Battlefield One and Warzone in the next week and two. So yeah, and why you ask Battlefield One? It's, in my opinion, it's a little bit better than the uh, Battlefield Five at the moment. 
even in the future of Battlefield 5 lost its uh, support from the developers, EA. So yeah. And yeah, so you're going to see more of this stuff. But yeah. Uh, don't don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and comment. Please, please, please. Comment especially. Give it a like if you liked it. If you didn't like it, you can dislike it. I don't care. Do what you want. It's a video. I hope you just enjoyed it a little bit. I made you laugh, or if I told you something interesting, that's all that matters. And I hope you subscribe, because I need subscribers. <laughs> and every subscriber counts, so. And every one of you guys matter to me, so. Go ahead and subscribe and like and everything. I'll appreciate it. So I think I'm going to have to leave it here. We only have three things left for the Paleolithic, so what I'm hoping is that we can get like a steam train going down this railway, so we can get these three done quickly, and then these things, and then next video we can get those three done, and then this, and then we'll be in this era. And yeah, maybe it'll be like a five to ten part series, ten at most, I think, at least five for sure. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna leave it as, uh, ladies and gentlemen. And yeah. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, like, subscribe, comment, do what you gotta do. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. See ya.